They have forfeited the right to be lecturing others about the economy. Somebody coming off a fixed rate mortgage is going to be paying an average of £240 more each and every month. A constant reminder that working people are paying the price for the damage that they've done to the economy. He told me that his mortgage is going up by a staggering £1,000 a month, Prime Minister. He doesn't want other averages, other people, other stories. That's what's happening to him. If the member for Mid Norfolk on £120,000 can't afford this Tory government, how on earth can people like Phil? Well, actually, Mr Speaker, thanks to the management of the economy, Phil and millions... I think... Phil and millions of people like him are now ensuring that inflation is less than half of the rate that it was when we were talking a year ago, putting more money in their pocket. And thanks to this government, Phil and millions of other workers, not just at Iceland, but across the country, are benefiting this month in their pay packet for a tax cut worth hundreds of pounds for someone on an average salary. But I hope he explained to Phil, he explained to Phil the cost of his policies. Did he explain to Phil, did he explain to Phil how Phil is going to have to pay for his £28 billion green spending spree? How it's going to cost Phil in higher taxes, more coming out of his pay packet, and did he explain to Phil that he'd be better off sticking with our plan rather than going back to square one with him? I would invite the Prime Minister to get in touch with Phil and explain to him how paying £1,000 more on his mortgage is making him better off, because that's not how he feels. He's just so out of touch. It's unbelievable. But when people see their mortgages going up, their council tax going up, food prices still going up. Who does he expect them to believe? His boasts or their bank account? Minister. Well, Mr. Mr. Speaker, again, I, I was puzzled because again he resorts, as always, to the politics of envy here. But after recently, after recently and repeatedly, uh, recently and repeatedly attacking not just me but the government for lifting the bonus cap, I was genuinely surprised to see that the Shadow Chancellor just today has announced that she now supports the government's policy on the banker's bonus cap. I don't, I, don't know, I don't know if he mentioned that to Phil when he was having a chat with him, but I'm sure he can, he can fill us up. But I can tell him that trust, uh, trust and economic credibility come from sticking to a plan, but it's becoming clear you cannot trust a word that he says. And again, when the Shadow Chancellor says or claims that they won't borrow much, they won't raise Phil's taxes, we now know, we now know that those promises simply again, they just aren't worth the Wikipedia page they were copied from. Yeah!